10 great inventions that happened during the pandemic. Easy! Easy! So let's start there, Ernesto. Do you want to take the first one or shall I? Uh, go ahead. Let's uh, get okay. started with number 10. Number 10 is ear guards. Now, the thing is, you may already be aware of wearing a mask. If you haven't worn a mask in the last six months, it's because you've been in a box or it's because you have no friends and you've not left the house for some reason. But anyway, when you get your ear masks, they are kind of uncomfortable anyway. Now, it's different if you're a surgeon because you know you're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to wear it, hopefully, when you're doing operations. So you put your mask on and you're trying to talk. And not going to stop. But the thing is... I've got like this. Oh, it's massive. The thing is, this bit hurts after a while. And if you buy one that's not like this, a one-shot mask, and you get one that you can wear on a regular basis, they have adjusters on the side here. And the adjusters are a problem because after you've worn them for maybe a couple of hours when you're shopping, it really digs into your ear. Like the first time you got your ear pierced, many, many years ago. I don't have it now because my daughter pulled on my ears and it hurt too much. So now our first invention, which we're really proud of, we didn't create it, we just think it's really good, is an ear guard. And what that is, imagine having a mask at the front and the mask at the back, and it's got buttons on it. So when your mask goes all the way around, you can slot it onto the buttons so there's less pressure on your ears. So when you finally take it off, you haven't got this horrible groove like you've slept in the car because you were drunk the night before. Instead, you've got two tram lines like you've been hanging around with Hannibal Lecter and he was just sharpening up on you, which is much better, I think. That is great. And uh, now coming up with number nine, the listening archive. And I think this one is uh, kind of sweet because it's like uh, everybody contributes kind of podcast where everybody can share their different stories, their different uh, support stories, sad stories, happy stories of every single thing that they have lived in these seven months inside the pandemic. And I think this is something that is going to remain for a number of years. And I think even new generations and further generations are going to listen to what happened uh, throughout these seven to, I do not know how long is this going to last, but I think it's a very, very nice invention. Now we go to number eight. Number, number eight is the ImmuTouch. Now the ImmuTouch is like a smart watch. So imagine a smart, I'll take my watch off. Imagine you've got a smart watch and it's got one function. As soon as it feels you're going towards your face, it rattles like that and it shocks you. So you, you then put your arm down. The idea is that so much infection that's on your fingers once it goes to your eyes, it goes to your face, then it becomes live. Whereas if you keep it on your hands and wash your hands, it's much easier. So this was invention by two young guys, apparently. It's a watch that vibrates if you go anywhere near your face. Now, I don't know how that useful for you that would be. For me, I'd just wear a mask and it's much easier. I don't want a watch that tells me of the time. But hey, call me old fashioned. What's next? So number seven is the uh, visor, that uh, protective visor that uh, they started having, and also the uh, face ID uh, mask. I see these are really interesting. I mean, right now, I think that's a lot better protection for your face. If you have that visor, you're definitely not going to be touching your face. So I think that is number seven. And now we go to number six. What do you have as number six, Dave? Number six, we've got the hand-free door handle, which sounds like a bit of a, a mouthful, but this is a really cool object. Have you ever tried to get in the house while carrying shopping bags and you use your elbows and you use your chin and you've got to carry the car keys, but you can't put it down because if you put it down, you've got to get all these bags and they're cutting into your hands. So you're going to find a way of doing it. Well, the biggest problem and the most germs anywhere are actually in a lift door. When you press the button on a lift, the lift button has got more germs than anywhere else apparently, but toilets have got to come kind of close to it because people open doors and close doors and don't wash their hands and exception, you know, you can see where this is going. So what this invention is, it allows you to open a door by not worrying about your hand, doing it all with your elbow but it actually has a handle you can move with your elbow, which is really smart. Using the same kind of technology as using a, um, a fire door, when you push it open and you don't have to touch a handle or anything else, this allows you to put your arm down and it opens the door, which is fantastic, as long as you've washed your arm. 
If your arm's covered in whatever it is, then you're back to square one again. But hopefully it'll be on your sleeves. So I think that's a great invention. That's number six. Love it. That is great. And our next one, which is going to be number five, it's going to be the hospital sanitizing robots. And these ones, actually, they're not only operating in hospitals, but they're also operating in other places. I have actually seen them in malls. I have also seen videos because I haven't been in an airport anywhere, uh, clear, anywhere uh, close. But it's very interesting how these robots are actually sanitizing the area. And uh, this one is number five. So now I think you're going to have a fun one, which has to do with the number of this episode, and that's the Quarantine Together dating app. So you tell us about it, Dave. Yes and no, because here's the problem. I mean, it's episode 69, so we should be going, shh, 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 shh. and having a laugh about it. But here's the problem. The, the quarantine dating app, which basically is like Tinder for people who are apart, and I think I've not got one for obvious reasons. My wife wouldn't let me have one, but um, which I, I think is a great idea. Um, but ultimately, it allows you to create a relationship with somebody who you've never met and you probably won't meet. So without actually trying it out, I don't know what the idea is. What makes it different from Tinder? You're swiping left, you're swiping right, or you're on your own with somebody swiping up and down. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. So um, <laughs> I'm not sure how this works. Have you ever used it, Ernesto? Have you been allowed to by your wife? Do you have a, no, a I have not. Kind of thing going on? <laughs> so if you've used it and you've used the quarantine dating app, I mean, we know it's got remote stuff. I'm imagining that the relationship continues a little bit further than just, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Because otherwise you would have done it on Facebook or Instagram. I think there's probably some, some, some loving, visual loving going on. So tell us what it is. Otherwise, we're going to have to search for it. And if it comes up as a search on a search engine in my house, and my wife finds that I've been looking at it, I'm in the doo-doo. So if you can tell me, I can find out. Next up is number three, and you can take this one, Ernesto. Okay, so that's the fever detecting technology at a distance. And this is actually, I think for me, this is really cool that you get with a little gun and then they actually uh, test what the temperature is. I mean, you know, this makes me think of the, this is something that I don't think it would have taken too long to actually discover and that uh, they have never used it before. But, you know, I was, uh, I was just thinking uh, the, the um, uh, luggage, you know, the, the, the handbag or the bag for the luggage has been invented for God knows 2000 years. And uh, it took until 1974 to actually put wheels on that kind of thing. I think this is the same kind of invention. I mean, this technology could have been there for a long time, and we were still looking for that thing that you had to put inside of your mouth. Why didn't they have it before? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, up your, your, up your, um, up your bum. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was very bad. But yeah, I mean, go to it. Can you, can you put this convenient thing up your ring piece while, while we just check to see if it's temperature? <laughs> But here's the thing, how many times, and the weather in, in Houston is not too dissimilar to Dubai. The amount of times I've gone into a shopping mall, or when I've gone to a hospital, and they check your temperature, and they go, oh, you're a little bit hot. And you're like, yeah, it's hot outside. I've been sweating in my car, and now I've got a mask on. Of course I'm going to be sweating. Can you stand to one side, and I'll come back to you. I mean, like, don't you think I would have been coughing by now? If Anyway, so it's a challenge for me. It really sort of winds me up. All right, number two, for this one, I'm going to substitute in the drones that are being used to wipe the streets. It's always happening in Dubai. It's actually probably an equal one. I like the drones that were used to sweep the streets and to clean them while people were in lockdown. But I also want to add in another bit of technology, which for me was fantastic, which was the introduction of, of faces at sporting events. The way that sports have reinvented themselves to have all the fans watching on, on Zoom lenses. So you've got all these LEDs representing the fans, or you've got individual ones that people can buy that make all the noise that come through. So you've got an artificial but very effective way of watching WWE or watching NBA. And I think that's fantastic. So what's the number one, Anesta? What's the best invention for us during the lockdown? Well, this one was not actually invented during the pandemic, but if it would not have been because of that, this world would have actually gone into full stop and it would have been a big, big challenge. And that is Zoom. 
I think uh, Zoom was a blessing in disguise for uh, everybody, even though it's not my favorite technology. Ooh, I, do believe, I do <laughs> believe, yeah, it's not my favorite. I do believe that uh, if it would not have been because of Zoom, it would have just been an absolute nightmare. And with that, we finish our new section, Great Inventions During the Pandemic. <laughs> easy Fantastic. easy excellent so with that in mind we'll be doing the same thing every week if you've got some suggestions for what we should feature in the top 10 list then let us know otherwise we'll dig deep we'll do our research and bring you something fresh every single weekend and also by the way when you're actually looking at the show um make sure that you subscribe Make sure you connect with us, follow us on social media, and share it with your friends. The more people that join our little gang, the more people can have fun with us. And then we become a big happy family, and we are heading towards Christmas. If you want to get a card or a special greeting, you should start doing it now. Otherwise, you'll be on the naughty list, where me and Ernesto have been for quite many years. But it's okay over there. Um, it's a bit naughty, but we kind of like it. Thanks for watching the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you watch all the videos over here. There's two choices for you. Or, of course, uh, I'm Dave Crane coming from Dubai. And this is Ernesto Verdugo coming from Houston. And I think we should send a message. Hold on. Uh, what is this? Oh, subscribe.